Hey guys, it's Nick with the Elite Reef. Today's video, I want to show you a quick update on my Innovative Marine Nuvo SR80 Aquarium, and also do a quick update and walkthrough on some of the equipment I use to keep this reef tank happy, healthy, and thriving. Starting out, you can see that the Rose Bubble Tip Anemone, which is a sunburst version of this anemone, still playing host to the female Percula Clownfish. However, she won't let the male into the anemone, so he hosts a uh, colony of Xenia coral there, as well as that flower pot coral. As you can see, my soft coral in this tank is absolutely thriving. I started with one small colony of Xenia. It's absolutely taken over the rock in this right-hand side of the wall, as well as other parts on the other side of the tank. Be very careful with this coral if you put it in your tank. I, I like the look of it. I like that it's natural, it grows like a weed, but it does grow like a weed and some people are not fond of that. So be careful when you put it in your tank. However, that was the look I was going for. I wanted to have a natural reef. I wanted to put coral in the tank and let it grow wherever it grew. You know, I wasn't gonna intervene. I wasn't gonna stop the coral from growing. Um, another prime example of that is my green star polyps. It's growing all over the rock. It grows over the back wall and it even started to invade the money cap and bird's nest. I'm not going to intervene with it. I think the green star polyp is eventually in a year from now going to win and completely take over. I might frag the money cap to save a little bit, but it's a natural reef. I let all the coral grow wherever it wants to. Part of the reason is the lighting that I run on this tank. I run a combination of T5 and Kessel A160 lights. I think the growth has been phenomenal, especially for the soft coral, since I really don't dose my tank that often. I do stay consistent with water changes, but the growth, I think, is directly correlated to the lighting on this system. Now, some of you may know that T5 lighting doesn't actually produce any shimmer, so the Kessel A160s add that supplemental lighting to give the tank a shimmery look to mimic the ocean. All I did was take two pipe straps and bolt them directly to the T5 lighting fixture, and I only run these Kessels at about 50% intensity and 50% color. By running it at only 50%, it gives me the desired intensity and shimmer that I was trying to achieve with this tank. Now I'm running a basic four bulb Aquatic Life T5 fixture, nothing fancy, but it really gets the job done. I run four bulbs in this fixture, two Coral Plus bulbs and two Blue Plus bulbs. They're both from ATI and I change them once a year. They really, the combination of these bulbs really add the desired color that I was going for with this build. I do have a dual media reactor on this aquarium, however I don't use it, only if I'm running into an algae problem or some sort of an outbreak. I do run an Hydor auto top off system with a 10 gallon aquarium underneath the tank. It's run flawlessly, I've had it for over three years, haven't had a single issue with it. To control, power, and monitor my aquarium, I use a combination of a Neptune Apex Junior reef keeping system, a battery backup, and a basic generic power strip that you can get at your local hardware store or Amazon. This is great for knowing which plug is which. You know, you always get into the back of your tank and you don't know where the power head cord is or where your auto top off cord is. This keeps it easily labeled and you can turn it on or off with ease when you're doing a water change or feeding your aquarium. I highly recommend this piece of equipment. It's around 25 bucks and you can't really go wrong with it. Thanks again for watching guys. I'll leave you with a final clip of the overall shot of the aquarium. As always, be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more reef keeping videos.